Is it streaming now? Testing, testing, one thing. <laughs> My technical support here. And it's up. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Uh, so, where's my chat? Oh, this was yesterday's. Oh, there you go. Very confusing. It is. I feel like YouTube's having a little problem here. Or live. Okay. Well, but it's pulling up something by the same name from a day ago. Oh. Or actually, that might be just this. From a couple minutes ago or something? Well, it live looks... Live stream live 17 minutes ago, one day ago? Yeah. YouTube's having a problem. I loaded it up on the computer for you. Uh, oh, okay. Well, thank you <laughs> for bearing with me. Uh... I, I'll tell you if it's okay. Great, thank you. I'm just going to start mapping in, <laughs> and um, I guess this might be one of those. Uh... No, it's not up yet. It's not up yet. Oh, here I I can do some editing too. Uh, Is delete... it because I have the same name from like 20 minutes ago? It might be. I'm deleting the old one. Okay. This is. I think I'm gonna lose some viewers okay. today. Oh no, I see it. I it's up. Uh, someone said hello. This oh, is hello. I think good. I'm gonna lose some viewers okay. today. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Oh no, I see it. Thank I, you it's for up, bearing uh, with me. Someone with said hello. This oh, is hello. I think I'm gonna lose some viewers today. Thank you. Oh no, I see it. Thank you for bearing with me. Someone said hello. This is hello. I think I'm gonna lose some viewers today. Thank you. Oh no, I see it. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I've uh, mixed up a little bit more. Uh, you can see after a minute the oil starts soaking into the paper, so it uh, it looks a little darker. Um, but if you close it. And so nice having technical support in the house. <laughs> oh. And I am not sure if you guys are aware, but my mom is a YouTube personality, um, ultimate paper mache, if you look her up. And, um, she gave me a shout out in her newsletter yesterday, which I really appreciate. And so I know um, a lot of my uh, new subscribers are her fans. And um, so I wanted to say welcome, especially to you and welcome to every all the new people. It's uh, It's really fun to see that people are enjoying this enough to subscribe. So I'm just mapping in where my sky will end, and I want it to be sort of an interesting shape. Um, but the most important thing to me here about trying to show atmospheric perspective is going to be the overlap of, um, of close and distant hills. And so... I'm just going to set that one aside since it's got the sky color on it. And I'm trying out a new brush maintenance program where um, instead of washing them, I'm, um, I'm soaking them in painting oil and uh, we'll cut down on fumes a little bit or not so much fumes since I, I don't use I don't wash them in um, mineral spirits or turpentine or anything, but it it's supposed to cut down on how much they dry out and um, and also an <laughs> unnecessary effort. So I'll see how that goes. 
So now I'm going to mix up this green here and I'm starting with the ultramarine and yellow and I've added in some yellow ochre um, Let's see where that goes. And so I'm aiming for the darkest green here. And down here it's turning kind of, uh, warm because of all the um, tree trunks. But this is looking too dark and too blue. Closer. I think I actually want to warm this up. The hard, harder I look, the more I can see, you know. And so that got a little bit too light. see but I think it might be pretty good yeah okay. you can see it as I'm putting it down it's it's matching this value pretty well but it's a lot darker than that which is what I want to accentuate So, um, I am painting a scene from Yellowstone National Park, and um, so I think this scene um, is a great example of some atmospheric effect, and, um, and so I wanted to show that, and... Um, I'm not, I'm going to need to work a little bit to make the, the design something that I'm happy with. Um, but, um, but I think this, uh, you know, the distance is pretty wonderful. So that's what I'm going after. And, um, so I love national parks and it is Earth Month, so um, I thought what a good excuse, a <laughs> good reason to um, <laughs> to paint some national parks. Um, and this photo uh, I got on a family trip a couple of years ago and, um, and so there are a couple of bison here in the foreground and um, and these beautiful rolling hills back here. Um, and so I'm just getting a nice dark value that's kind of on the shade side of the leaves. So it's not going to match any of the trunks. I'm going to need to change it up for that. And it won't match the sunny side. Um, but... Um, but because what I'm really working on here is my difference between the different layers, I, uh, I wanted to get in this strong value, um, and then move back. Uh-huh. 
down. And so even right back here, it's not that much further, but there's a little bit of a color shift. And um, for atmospheric perspective, there are a lot of different ways that people describe it, especially depending on whether they are artists or scientists. Um, one way I heard it described that I kind of think about when um, when I'm trying to decide what I'm seeing is um, that the light waves need to move all the way from the object to you. And so, um, you know, they're going through all this air and sometimes they're going through a lot of stuff in the air, like water or pollution or, uh, you know, in this case, <laughs> <laughs> water <laughs> but um, so the blue light waves make it the furthest and um, uh, red next and then yellow and um, I'm not sure if that's like scientifically accurate but um, I think it's a nice way to kind of uh, start questioning what exactly I'm seeing. And so, um, and so, um, that's why a lot of times, um, you don't see very much yellow in very, very distant hills. And if you want something to look more distant, you can make it, uh, more purple or more blue. Um, and I think uh, it's just nice to have different ways to think about these things, to um, to kind of decide what it is that we really see. And so a lot of times there's, uh, you know, a lot of times it's it's hard to really decide, you know, is this more gray or more purple or, and, uh, just having different theories to uh, test it against is, I think, really helpful. So, and it's going to be a lot greener where the sun hits it in this little painting, but um, but I'm trying to get that mid, uh, you know, the shadow on the on the green parts. And so and in the photograph, there isn't really any overlap, but um, I will probably add that for some visual interest. So the most important thing is um, I don't want this area to be darker than this area. Um,
So, and I'm trying to make this shape interesting. It's uh, kind of my natural inclination to put things evenly spaced. So, I'm trying to double check and make sure that doesn't happen. I think this is much more repetitive than what I want. And So I don't like this uh, heading down in the corner. Get rid of that. And... and it puts a little balance right there. So I'm going to scrub in uh, this hill back here next, and um, so the simplest way to add atmospheric perspective is just to literally mix in some sky color. Um, and um, I'll probably start there and then adjust a little bit. So I'm remixing this color in the middle here. See, I go through a lot of paint. <laughs> And I'm uh, painting on loose canvas again, so um, it's a little bit wider than, um, yeah, I can go out a little bit farther and then crop it in. Um, okay, so... My color I'm mixing is too blue and that's making it look too dark. Let's 
have a weird optical illusion. So you can see how close I am. That color looks a lot more violet to me than what I've painted. So I do this same thing when I am painting from life. I, um, I have pieces of paper around here that have um, hundreds of little um, paint dabs. I'm trying to match what I'm doing and looking at it on the brush is not the same. So that value is really close, but um, but the color is pretty far off. Um, and there's a quality to the color that I'm seeing that is really similar to my alizarin. Um, but, um, yeah, I've been kind of resistant to mixing that in. Um, And need to add more weight to compensate for all this color. And that'll cool it down a little bit too. Ah, there we go. You know, there's this turning point where it's like, oh, it's, it's in the right family. That feels good. There we go. Okay. So the stuff I'm using here to um, thin it is this um, 
archival oil medium again. Okay, so I'm trying to decide how to balance it. Like, um, I don't, I don't mind if the painting is really unbalanced, but I want it to be intentional if, uh, if I do that. Um, um, Some fun texture right at the top and this will go back and forth a little bit when I get my um, my sunny side these trees make such pretty patterns on the ground you know they're <laughs> the way that they grow in And there's this nice area here that and if it doesn't work out, I'll just wipe it off or paint over that area. A lot of times there will be something that I really like in a painting, like I like the details or something about it and um, you know, I'll realize at some point that it's detracting from what the real point of the painting is and to wipe it off. It's really nice if it doesn't belong there, it can have its own painting somewhere else. I really like these shapes back here. I'm leaving a little bit of room to come back up into it with my ground color. Um, and then back here, there's some very faint trees. So this is uh, like three quarters sky color and uh, one quarter the color of these trees and I kind of want to warm it up a little bit. I'm going to add in, hmm, yeah, I'll start here and maybe. about whether that needs to change color a little bit. If my value is close enough, a lot of times I figure it's better to get something down and adjust it than, um, you know, I'm inclined to mix for a very long time. Uh, So I'm going to make sure I have what I think makes this all very interesting, which is um, the way these different 
um, levels of trees are playing with each other. The light side will be coming up, but um, I'm going to make sure that, that they also go down a little bit lower on the low part. And trying to make sure my spacing's good again. This is feeling pretty balanced here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sky color in. And um, so this time I did intentionally leave this brush with just sky color because um, if I if I get other colors on the, in the sky, I get I want to do that intentionally. It'll You'll really be able to notice that. So I'm leaving a lot of paint along the edge so I can, can pull it down. And, uh, especially since I'm going to be using my sky color in the mixes, I um, kind of making sure I don't run out here. Just drawing a lot of extra on my canvas. And uh, I uh, I love using a lot of brush strokes, but I also enjoy leaving a little area for people to rest. And uh, so uh, big smooth areas, I think can do that really nicely. Well, today this is my favorite brush, so I am going to wipe it off and use it for, um, actually not wipe it off, but I'm going to use it for this, these ground mixtures. And so this will be the same thing. I'm going to mix up this nice green and then add some sky color to it and see where it needs to go from there.
see if this gives the right feeling. You can see that phthalo blue, it really takes over just a tiny little dab. sort of shade color and then I'll add more orange to come forward and so Welcome. I'm so glad you're here for the live stream too. Thank you. You are welcome to um, make comments or ask questions or um, let me know if I, I'm still really getting the hang of uh, <laughs> how to do this without blocking the camera or having weird technical issues. So um, I appreciate any kind of comments about like if people want me to change the camera view so you can kind of see the painting closer or um, you know if I'm <laughs> doing something weird <laughs> with, with uh, you know the audio or anything like that um, I appreciate those comments um, but also your questions are welcome So I'm uh, pretty happy with this mixture and um, so I'm going to take a chunk of it and and mix in some sky color and see where it goes. That hill is much more bare, so I think it's more of uh, this color I need to start with. So, let's Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate it. I um, I am enjoying it a lot. I I um, I have been wanting to do this sort of thing for a long time. Um, and then when I started seeing, you know, all these posts about people being inside, and I thought. Uh, Maybe it would be nice for people to have an hour where, uh, you know, a little distraction. Maybe it'd be fun. And so I thought maybe this is something neat I could offer my community. Um, and uh, I have found that I'm just really enjoying it. I, um, I like feeling like I have company in the studio. I like that a lot. So, um so thank you. Okay. 
So I'm feeling pretty good about this color family here. It's a nice, nice earth tone. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of that and add in the sky color again and see where that goes. That's a lot closer. Somewhere in between. So I'm adding in my grass color and um, it's fun by mixing these colors together, kind of getting a better sense of what's actually happening up on that hill. Um, so, yeah, the fun part is you spend so much time thinking about things that uh, you wouldn't necessarily have any reason to think about otherwise. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the color. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is <laughs> cracking here, but I feel like the value is right around the edges, but it needs to lighten up a little bit in the middle. And there's a little bit of a softness where it hits the the softer part of the trees. Kind of Trying to give a hint back here of some layering. So one of my favorite sayings that I have heard, um, you might have heard me say this before because it's been one of my favorite sayings ever since I heard it. Uh, 10 years ago, 12, 12 years ago, um, there was a, um, an author talking and anyways, he said he tries not to let what really happened get in the way of telling the truth. And, um, uh, I've, I have heard an artist talk about that sort of thing. Um, uh, realist artists uh, in different words um, and um, gosh I can't remember her name uh, Sherry um, David LaFell's uh, business and life partner um, she has uh, in her demonstrations I've heard her a few times saying that um, you know, the thing that she was seeing on, uh, in real life was misleading and that if she had painted it like that, it would, it wouldn't tell the truth about the form. Um, but that's one of the things that I think makes painting worth doing is that, um, 
you, it's not just replicating exactly what you see. It's trying to find a way to, to say something about about this. And, uh, you know, it makes it a, a good challenge. So I'm trying to get those edges to kind of say that the bottom is a little bit more solid and the sides less so. But when I'm done here, the important thing for the atmospheric perspective is that these values will be a lot more similar than these values. Okay, I need kind of a destroyed brush here, which luckily I have many. <laughs> really terrible brushes, but this is what they are for. Okay. It's nice to know that even if you destroy your brushes, they will still have a purpose. Little frilly, frilly edges. And get in my foreground book. brush was really disappointing me because um, I liked it a lot but I had kind of abused it I think doing this sort of thing and um, it had frayed and so yesterday I threw up my hands and just trimmed it down and reshaped it and so today it's my favorite brush again <laughs> so I'm pretty thrilled about that yeah. Getting a little bit of variety here in my foreground greens. And make sure to keep it uh, more um, saturated than anything in the background. Give this tree a little bit of 
character. And um, I don't mind if there's a lot of mystery or if it's, um, you know, as, as long as it's not irritating. Um, I think there's, you know, there are times when you look at something and say, oh, I feel like I should know what that is and I don't. And, um, you know, there are other times when you look at something and say, you know, I don't know what that is and I don't really care. <laughs> But a lot of times I think um, your brain just fills in what a thing is and you don't really need all that much information. And then I'm adding in the um, this little area of orange to kind of make a little bit more sense out of that color. And, and just a couple more touches and then I uh, I will call it a day um, I want this to be lighter, but still way more vibrant than anything back there. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I love watching live uh, painting demonstrations. It's, uh, I think it's fascinating to see how somebody else thinks and, um, you know, how people use their materials and um, so anyways, I'm, I'm really glad you're enjoying it. And um, I will be back on Saturday morning at the same time. And then next week, I think I'm going to try out a different time slot. Um, I have a couple people that have expressed interest from really different time zones. And, um, and so I, um, I've been struggling trying to decide whether to do... Um, you know, one week where it's all at noon my time, uh, central time, or if I, um, or if I uh, do different times on different days. Um, so, anyways, I haven't quite, I haven't quite decided about that. So, I, 
anybody that has input is welcome to, <laughs> to uh, share feelings about that. And um, I'm skipping this guy. I'm just getting the little threesome over here. So I think it's kind of a nice balance. And So really the most important thing about trying to get that atmospheric perspective is making sure that the strongest contrast stays in the front. And um, so uh, I think that's already shown here, but this will really kind of bring it home. So I just mix my black with um, with my darkest colors on my palette, and um, and then sometimes I use yellow to uh, make it more neutral. But I'm just using alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue. And uh... so when we went to Yellowstone. Um, so funny the first time going there I uh had was driving just with my son and um there was one little buffalo way off on the edge of this hill that you had to kind of use binoculars to see and I pulled over and the you know and we just stared at it for a long time and people were off the road um you know and then um when we finally started driving again, we drove maybe half a mile and there were buffalo all over the road <laughs> right next to us. And I just thought that was so funny. But, um, but uh, it's really neat being close to these guys. So there's my darkest dark and uh, get nice orangey red for their tops. more yellowy. Soften that up a little bit. And I'm going to give them a really nice bright green patch. So this one's not quite done yet, but I think it, uh, I think you could probably see that atmospheric perspective and hopefully, um, 
<laughs> Hopefully that was fun and interesting. Um, so um, I keep forgetting to mention, uh, please like the video if you liked it. Um, and please subscribe to the channel if you want to um, be able to find me again. And also that's pretty awesome when people subscribe. Um, if you click the bell, it'll notify you when I uh, go live or when I um, have new videos, like I'll, I'll do a time lapse of this uh, once it's all done and upload that so it'll notify you. But if you just subscribe, it doesn't notify you. It just, um, it just makes me show up in your stream or your, um, you know, when you look for things on YouTube. Oops. Um, and um, if you want my, little emails that I send out saying when I'm going live and um, uh, a little bit of information about that, then um, you can you can just message me or um, I have information about signing up for that in May about. But, so I'll be here for a couple minutes if anybody has any questions. Um, and I will zoom in here so you can See where I'm at. It's hard to walk away. <laughs> it's, it feels like it's going to turn into something really great, but, uh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here before I get um, before I start messing with it too much. So I have the camera up on my um, my paint box. Um, so that's that's where it is. for subscribing that's awesome <laughs> thank you um do i sell these uh yeah absolutely so um i'm putting all the demo paintings on my website um and uh i so you can get there from my about page it's just jessierashi.com um and i also just started up a little patreon um, I've never mentioned it before. It's, it's brand new, um, but for um, you can get little sketches there, um, and also I'm planning to have some sketches and things like that on my site. And I also have um, larger works and different things. Um, just add all the little details, like um, the the color masses quite a bit um and um i might move things a teeny bit just to make sure the composition is really working um so i'll probably come back in half an hour or so and finish it um and if you think it'd be interesting i'd be happy to record my website and also on my uh, time lapse version of of this painting. Um, cool. Well, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I will upload that. So uh, I will hopefully see you guys next time. Have a great uh, end of your week.